hi guys welcome to my channel and today i will be showing you guys how to make haitian zonio piglies <music> So let me give you guys a little bit background on zonion piglies. Zonion piglies is just like regular piglies, but there's no cabbage in it. There's no carrots. It's easier to make and it has less ingredients, but it's just like piglies in the sense of you can use it the same way. It's something spicy, savory that you eat with things like you could put it on your chicken. You could put it on your rice if you want. You can put it like... On almost anything unless it's something sweet and that's that's just nasty okay all right so let me go ahead and show you guys what I'm doing so here I'm cutting up some bell peppers and some onions okay I'm cutting them up to some big little pieces big little pieces what's that <laughs> I'm cutting them I feel like into big pieces I don't want to cut them too small okay you don't want to slice and dice them you want to cut them just like you see I'm cutting them okay we're also going to need some limes. We're also going to need some Maggie, all that good stuff. So here I'm taking up the bell peppers and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut up my onions and I'm going to cut my onions palm kind of big too, just like I did the bell peppers, cutting them just like that. Okay. All right. And then after that, I'm going to take a cube of Maggie. I'm going to put one tablespoon of water with that cube of Maggie, and I'm going to put it in the microwave for about 10 seconds. The, what I'm trying to do with that Maggie is I want to turn it into a liquid form. I don't want it to be hard anymore. I want it to be a liquid form. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in the microwave for like 10 seconds. Then I'm going to take it out of the microwave, and I'm going to push down on it with my spoon to try to get it to melt and become that liquid form that I was telling you guys about, okay? I'm also taking some limes and I'm cutting them up and I'm squeezing the juice out of them to put them into my zonion which is onions and my bell peppers okay so I did approximately four limes you could do less or more depending on the size and how much juice come out the line you understand all right so here I am I'm squeezing well pushing down on the um, Maggie cube like I told you when you're doing this be careful because a lot of the Maggie tends to stick to the back of the spoon so make sure you scrape that off and continue to press down on it okay so this right here is called a pillow all right this is a pillow and if you go to any Haitian household and you find this baby Whatever they about to make you, it's about to be on fire. It's about to be fire like it's about to be good as hell, y'all. And I guarantee it. I put that on old McDonald had a farm. She, yeah, yeah, yo. All right. So here I'm going to squish it, squish it, squish it. Dot, 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 dot. That's what you do with a pillow, okay? If you do not have a pillow, all you have to do is get your knife and you take your bell pepper and you cut it up. You slice it and dice it as small as you possibly can. Make sure you use gloves while doing this because imagine if you finish doing this, cutting up these hot, hot peppers. Then you go take a shower and you touch your hoochie. Hoochie, you won't be on fire. <laughs> Don't do it, friend. Don't do it because you're going to be in the corner looking slow by yourself, okay? All right. Also, you could touch your eye. You could touch your child's eye. We just ain't got time for that. Ain't nobody taking nobody no ER, okay? So I did take a little bit of water, like one teaspoon of water, and, and put it into my pinot just because I wanted to get the remainder of the bonnet peppers that was in there out because some of it was stuck, stuck, stuck like glue on there and I wanted all my stuff, okay? So here I'm putting the liquid form of Maggie that I turned into a liquid form into there. And I'm going to go ahead and mix this up. You see, I'm not mixing this up with my hands. I'm mixing it up with two spoons. Why? I already told y'all why. Okay? So I'm mixing it up with two spoons. I'm not touching this. Don't touch it, friend. Don't do it. All right? So here I have my um, adobo. I'm adding some adobo to give it a little bit more seasoning. If, I if the amount I tell you to put that's in the description box ain't enough for you, baby, and you want to add more, go ahead and do that. And you can also add your favorite hot sauce in it if you would like to as well. And boom, ba bam There you got it. It's all done. Haitian zonion piglies, y'all. In other words, Haitian onion piglies. It don't get no better than that, y'all. I'm trying to tell you. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and go ahead and subscribe to my channel, y'all. All right.